Hello, my name is Beatrice Eugenia Vasquez. I am from Bogota, Colombia, South America. I am a dancer, choreographer, and dance instructor. I am a dancer with the Central Avenue Dance Ensemble, and I have been part of the history of black dance in America 2011, 2012, and the origins of black dance 2014. I started dancing when I was three and a half, four years old. I was attending a private school in Colombia and they were really big in the arts and they felt that every child should be exposed to an artistic activity. I started with um, folkloric dance, jazz, modern dance, performance art, a uh, little bit of ballet. It was an eclectic mix of dance styles. States with my parents. Uh, my parents made a decision to immigrate in the 90s, so we came together. Um, well, after my parents immigrated to the United States, um, the natural thing to do was to just continue dancing because um, dance had already been a big part of my life in Colombia. Uh, when we arrived here in Los Angeles, I continued with my dance studies at local dance studios and academies in uh, Glendale, Burbank, Pasadena. And I had the, um, the luck of studying with wonderful people that influence and inspire who I am today. Um, I'll name a few like Miles Marston, uh, Dora Cranny, uh, Terry Markwell, Lane McMurray. And that's just a few because there's been a lot of wonderful teachers and choreographers who have shaped who I am. Um, then uh, I had the opportunity to attend the summer program at the Geoffrey Ballet School in New York. Uh, after that, I came back to Los Angeles and I continued dancing in local uh, dance productions around the area. And then uh, about 2004, I decided to take a break from dance. Well, um, I stopped dancing in 2004. Um, uh, I won't go into details, it's just uh, I got my um, spirit broken as a dancer. Artistic people sometimes are very sensitive. and. Um, to be careful. I needed some time off to go through the mourning period, um, sort of like leaving behind who I was so that the new me could come out. And it took time. It took four years for the new, for more than that. It took, it took four years to actually build up the courage again to go into the world of dance. So from 2004 to 2008, I didn't dance. I focused on teaching and on getting my certification as a yoga instructor. And then at about 2008, I was missing dance uh, too much. I really, really miss being a dancer. And so I made the decision that I needed to come back into the world of dance, that I needed to dance once again. Um, but I knew at the moment that I was not ready to go back into the world of ballet, that if I was gonna go back into the world of dance, it needed to be something different, um, a different, uh, different kind of environment, a more giving, nurturing um, environment. And so that's how, I, that's how I was able to get back into it uh, through uh, modern and flamenco. I became involved with the Central Avenue Dance Ensemble um, through a dance performance. I was doing a flamenco performance and Ron Parker and Chester Whitmore were doing tap. And so we happened to meet at that show and um, they really liked what they saw me doing in regards to flamenco and they invited me to be part of a project. Um, I didn't hear back from them for about a year and a half and then after that I got a phone call from Ron inviting me. Uh, to be part of, um, of this new project or the remake of this project, The History of Black Dance in America. Dancing with uh, the Central Avenue Dance Ensemble has been a wonderful experience. Even though I come from the world of ballet and classical dance, uh, working with these dancers and choreographers has been incredible. Um, somehow it has brought me closer to my own culture. Um, when my parents brought me here to the United States, I was still a young child. And even though I knew um, as a Latin American kid that we, we were very deeply influenced by the African culture, I didn't really have time to, to, to go deeper into it. And dancing with the Central Avenue 
a dance um, has allowed me to reconnect to my roots, to reconnect to that African part of me um, that exists. And it's been wonderful to be able to incorporate my um, ballet background and my technical background with this um, African dance and with uh, the Lindy and the Charleston and all these different rhythms that we have and it just everything just uh, combines so beautifully together. I love dancing with the Central Avenue Dance Ensemble. I love the educational aspect of it. I love how they bring together all the different influences from the African culture into, into the dances that we have today, how African dance has influenced uh, everything from the Charleston to the Lindy to Salsa to everything. So it's a wonderful, wonderful company to be part of and I love that. It's not just dance, but it's, but it's dance with history, and it's very important to be to pay honor to our history and to teach youth where we come from and where our dances come from. And, and also, it was kind of shocking to see that here in the United States, people are not aware of where their dances come from and what what it all means and what it means to have uh, different cultures in your blood. part of the history of like that's in America, especially to show the Latino uh, youth or the kids that are born 